Hi, and welcome to Tech Tips from Teachers. On this episode, we'll be looking at creation tool apps. Our guest today is Elizabeth Calhoun from San Jose, California. Elizabeth currently serves as the manager of educational technology for a large Bay Area Office of Education, and previously was a high school teacher and also served as vice principal for a middle school and a high school. She also holds a master's in educational leadership. So Elizabeth, why is technology so important in the classroom? Technology opens the doors for kids around the world. It opens the doors to information, it opens the doors to other teachers as well as to other students so that they can learn from and with the world. And then with the creation piece of things, how does technology help to enable that? Well, the best part about technology now is that it's not just about consumption, is that you can, in fact, create and anyone can create. And so students now can feel empowered by the fact that they can learn all of this information from around the world, take it in, and then create so that they can contribute to the world's information as well. We've heard from teachers that there are a few key components that make creation tool apps especially applicable to the classroom. It's important that they're versatile, that they make sharing easy, and that they have simple, easy to use user interfaces. Why is it so important that apps are versatile for classroom use? Because classroom environments are versatile. And a teacher's uh, environment, depending on whether they're working with a first grader or they're working with a third grader or a sixth grader, is going to change on a regular, perhaps daily basis. And so they need to be able to have an app that they're presenting to their students that has longevity, and that they as a teacher can use across grade levels, in addition to developmental levels. Finally, I think the reason versatility is really important is because a lot of teachers are making lots of movement towards being collaborative with their colleagues across content areas. So I may be an English teacher, but I really want to do some work with a science teacher. I want an app that's going to be able to bridge those two content areas and we can work with together. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. And then with that sharing piece, why is that something that's so critical? For teachers to be able to have an app where a student creates something and then they're able to share it among any of those programs is hugely important. The teacher shouldn't be spending time trying to figure out the mechanics of how do I export this and how do I make this meaningful? How do I share it with parents? How do I share it with the community? Those are the really rich experiences, being able to share it with a larger community. But if the teacher can't even get it out of the device in the first place or put it into a program they already have in their district, they're not going to use it. Right. And then that last point about having a really simple, easy to use UI. Why is that something that you would urge developers to put at the forefront? Everything we give to our students is vetted through us first. We look at movies before we show them. We <laughs> try to play with an app before we give it to a student. And one of the uh, pieces that, that I see teachers do time and time again is that if somebody hasn't walked them through a complicated application, sometimes they're not willing to give it to their student because they need to feel comfortable with it first. Elizabeth, tell us about Explain Everything. Why is it so great? It is so fantastic, mostly because it is so versatile. Uh, one of the great use cases that I've seen is with elementary students. The teacher will create a sample and then show that to the students for them to then recreate or create their own version of. It encourages group work. It encourages them to work together, to pull in from a variety of different sources. It also allows for this cross pollination between content areas. So if I'm an English teacher, again, I want to work with a science teacher, explain everything is going to cross those boundaries, no problem. What about Book Creator and the sea of creation tools? What makes right. that app stand out? So Book Creator is really fun because you're creating a book. It has this wonderful sharing capability that provides for teachers to be able to share with students, students to share with other students, and then ultimately for students to share their books with the parents or the community at large. And their knowledge and their learning then becomes very transparent and public. And then what about Comic Strip? What makes that such a nice fit for the classroom? One of the things that's great about it is that you have to actually synthesize a bunch of information in order to create a comic strip. And that can be a difficult mental process to go through to synthesize information and make it very concise. And so the cleaner the user interface is when you're creating something as complicated as that process can be, the better the result is going to be. So with Comic Strip It, you're able to take the information, 
put it in a nice, neat little box, and you have fun doing it. Elizabeth, thanks so much for joining us today. It was great having you. Sure, thank you. Thanks for having me. And to recap, um, with creation tools in the classroom, a couple of key things to keep in mind. It's important that these apps are versatile, that they make sharing easy, and that they have simple user interfaces. For more episodes of Tech Tips from Teachers, check out the Google Developers YouTube channel. Thanks.